Hey y'all, welcome back to the Hot Rod Dad channel. Glad you came, hope you stay. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. While you're at it, drop a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear where you're from and what kind of project you're working on. Man, it has been cold around here. Look at all that snow. It has been colder than Hillary Clinton campaigning at a Benghazi memorial. <laughs> that is gold. But in spite of that, today we are headed to Knoxville, Tennessee to the Cabin Fever Car and Motorcycle Show. See if we can find some cool rides. Y'all come along. So we just got here to the Knoxville Expo Center right over there. Vanna White delivered us to another destination. I'm still waiting on the wife. She's putting on her makeup still. So uh, we're gonna go check out some cars. I didn't bring anything to put in the show um, at this one because this is a three day event. I'm, I'm only gonna be here for Saturday. So, um, you know, I, the setup was yesterday. It had, you have to leave your car in there all weekend long. And you know, sometimes it's nice just to go spectate. So that's what we're gonna do. Y'all come along. Sometimes you see some pretty cool stuff out in the parking lot of these shows. Here's some uh, 70s luxury, I guess you'd say, right here. Back in the 80s and 90s, these Mustang 2s and Pintos is what we refer to as donors because the front suspension is on those cars got cut out and lots of times ended up in street rods looks like they pulled this one out of the woods somewhere and got it for sale right here's a 65 looks like maybe 66 Ford Galaxy here's the one and only Wivik the Frog right here say hello when I was a kid, mom and dad listened to uh, WIVK exclusively. So here we are inside the expo hall. Get you a little panoramic view right here. All kinds of cool stuff in here. First thing I'm gonna do though is head to the swamp meet. Y'all, this whole side over here on this end is swap meat. That's one of the reasons why I like to go to this show. There is all kinds of stuff here at this swap meat. Check out this cool lamp for your man cave. Dated 1925. And it can be yours for 500 bucks. So they've got a little of everything here. Right over there, some spindle mount wheels for Ford. Got some uh, cool drag racing memorabilia in this booth. <laughs> oh, I think I need those to put on the front of Oscar. Check out this garage art. That's all hand painted, y'all. Really cool stuff. color on this Camaro right here. Big block powered, 69. Great car. B 
God bless America and horsepower, y'all. They've got every kind of car here today from this big block powered dragster to this 1940 Ford Deluxe. What a contrast in American race and heritage. And you might say, uh, what does this 40 Ford have to do with race and heritage? Well, this is the very kind of car that spawned NASCAR. This is the kind of cars that they uh, would run whiskey in in the hills of Tennessee back in the day. And as some of you may know, that is what led to NASCAR. Y'all check out this pink Cadillac. I'm assuming this is your car. Yes, this is my car. Tell us all about it. Well, this is Bill, the pink caddy. It's a 1956 Cadillac. I've owned it since uh, August of 2016. Uh -huh. And uh, this car has actually been on display in Graceland. Oh, and wow. The gentleman who owned it before me is a huge Elvis fan, if you can imagine. And today's Elvis's birthday and my birthday. Oh, happy uh, birthday. Thank you. And um, anyway, so I wanted a big pink car. And I thought people would make fun of me when I got a big pink car, but everybody's cheering me on. Everybody loves this car. You go, girl. Yes. Um, I love it. We, we have a blast with it. Um, and it's uh, little girls like to come to the car, car shows. I try to keep stuff that they can play dress up with. And we're getting, we're getting the young ladies interested in cars. Awesome. And they come here and they look for the car. They look for the car. And now we're kind of growing. He's now purchased her a pink car. Okay. She's not here right now. She'll be back here in probably an hour. And um, we're having fun. More of us girls are getting cars and having a blast with them. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Thank you so much for telling us about your car. Have a good day. Y'all, I just spoke to the owner of this 1992 5 Fox Body Mustang. Would you believe this car only has 1,900 original miles? Not 19,000, y'all. 1,900 original miles. This is as close to a showroom original 1992 Ford Mustang as you could possibly get. It even has the original tires on it. I'm really digging this little 40 Ford pickup here. Looks like it could be on an S10 chassis. It may be clipped though, I'm not sure. Chop top. But my favorite thing about this truck is the bobbed bed on the back right here and the custom roll pan that follows along with the fenders. I just love that. Love the wheel and tire combo too on this little truck. Those wide white walls just look right on this thing. Have mercy, y'all. This little 3031 Model A two-door sedan is just incredible. I don't know that I could even get in and out of this thing, though. One of my favorites here today is this 1957 Ford Fairlane convertible, done up in 50s style. Got spinner bar hubcaps on it, lake style headers, twin Appleton spotlights on it. Talk about cruising. It is red, 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 y'all, with a Continental kit back here on the back. Look at those custom tail lights. Whenever I see a white first generation Thunderbird, I can't help but think about Suzanne Summers in American Graffiti. <laughs> Y'all check this out.
little Model A Ford pickup. They have everything here from full-size dragsters down to this junior dragster right here with a hot little Briggs and Stratton on it. It looks like the Cobra replica crowd here is really well represented. Several on display here today. Oh my, y'all, 1966 Ford two-door hardtop. But this car is special. Number one, straight shift car. Look at that tack on the steering column. That should give you a little indicator that this is a sleeper. 289, four barrel with a factory, Paxton. Supercharger. And just plain old steel wheels and hubcaps. Nice little 28 Ford Model A two door sedan right here. Really digging this 1935 Ford Coupe, y'all. Gorgeous black paint on it. Small block Chevy powered, air conditioned. Nice little pinstripe detail on it. Wood grain dash and steering wheel. Wire wheels on it. And this is a rumble seat coupe. What an awesome little Bad tea. Got the traditional suicide purse on the front there. Fully chrome suspension with disc brakes and hairpins. This car looks like it was probably built back in the 70s. and probably somewhat restored to that era. Y'all, yeah. I'm gonna show you something uh, pretty rare and very cool. This is a 1954 Victoria Skyliner. But what's really cool about this, it has got a factory display hood, one of only 20 known to exist. These cars had from the factory that clear roof. That's the reason they called them the Skyliner. This car has all kinds of 50s custom details on it, including a Continental kit on the back. It's got the lake style pops on the side, fender skirts, and it's got the twin spotlights on it and the exterior sun visor. Very cool. The color on this little Volkswagen bug here is just incredible. Here's a 1937 Plymouth done up in Gasser style. Got the jacked up stance in the front with the solid axle. Small block Chevy powered. Satin black, looks like radier wheels may be on the front. Chrome reverses on the back with some pie crust cheater slicks on it. Very cool.
Here's your sign. Even more signs and license plates on the inside. Here is one of my favorites here at the show today, this little Chevy 2 Nova station wagon. Great color combo on this car. And it is polished to the hilt. Seven Chevelle right here is just right. That wheel and tire combo is excellent. Those red line tires really match well with that interior. check this out this is one of the coolest things I've seen at the show today talk about tailgating these folks have got a bench seat everywhere they go with custom built-in cup holders right there and because it's on bags it's adjustable ride height so you can get comfortable anywhere you go Check out this little restored tot rod. This is a 1959 McDonough Power Equipment Model T 10. Right here is one of my favorite trucks at the show today, y'all. 1941 Ford in an incredible shade of red. Right there's a little before shot. American Motors is even represented here today, y'all, with this 1969 AMX. Here's a 1957 Ford retractable hard top. Here is an incredible 1965 wide body Corvette built by B. Rodder Custom Incorporated in Knoxville, Tennessee. Outstanding color. LS3 powered, all polished and chromed. Got air conditioning on it. Check out those LEDs and the door panels over there. Incredible car. This your favorite one here? Oh yeah. Yeah, you take this home, huh? Yeah, I asked him if he'd trade us. We have a 78. Oh, okay. I know that. No dice. No, no dice. <laughs> That's nice. 
It is nice. If you are a fan of the modern Nicolas Cage gone in 60 seconds, well, you'll probably like this car. My favorite detail of these cars was that scoop right there. Probably my favorite truck here today, this 1965 big block powered Chevy C10. Red on black interior, but it's got just a little bit of red stitching around the seats there that matches the exterior of the truck. Nice little 32 Ford pickup right here. Widened running boards and back fenders. 60 style Nerf bars. Recessed vintage 1932 Tennessee license plate. Cool little ride. Well, I just came out of the show. Snow is still lingering on this Edsel parked here, but it's starting to melt off. Hope y'all like checking out some of the rides here at the Cabin Fever Bike and Car Show. Till next time, y'all get out there and build something. Never know what you're gonna see in Tennessee, y'all.